Hello and welcome to another bulletin from Solid Gold. I just wanted to give you another quick update. Today I'm here in the grounds of um, Jarrow Monastery. Um, I've been doing some filming for uh, Penbar Media. Um, they're busy doing a, um, a documentary on uh, the Vikings and the history of Northumberland. Um, but I just took this opportunity to uh, film another bulletin here because um, I wanted to give you some uh, news, the latest up news, um, update, should, should I say, can't get me words out, um, on the channel. And of course, I'm sure you will, all of those living in the north of England, will know straight away that we've had five good days of good weather and yes finally i'm up to date i've caught up with all of the filming that i needed to do including hadrian's wall which i did yesterday um, so that uh, the hadrian's wall part three will be up uh, in a couple of weeks um, the next episode of the Durham um, coastline will be up on Friday at six o'clock. Um, so all I've got to do now is um, get on with the editing. And of course I've got some um, research to do um, for the uh, two remaining episodes. Um, so what did I do? I managed to get right down as far as uh, Easington um, and Horden and Peter Lee. Um, so the narrative on that's been done. And um, the drone footage, I got as far as Seam. So I got all of that done, so that was good. And then, as I say, I had two trips to Hadrian's Wall. I needed to do it in two bites, but, um, you know, um, as I say, the weather was perfect. I just couldn't uh, uh, miss the opportunity. Um, I've had a heavy cold as well. So when you hear the intro on um, episode three of Hadrian's Wall, you can hear I've got a um, blocked nose and a chesty cough um, but at least it's done and it's in the bag and I was really pleased because it's a very dramatic um, section of the wall. Um, I also wanted to um, point out that uh, as you know at the beginning of the year I was asking for um, all sorts of help uh, basically to help fund the channel because everything costs money not just the equipment but actually going to these places you know it's um it's uh, it, it it's not cheap and it's not affordable on a pension and i know i keep saying this and i don't want to annoy you all by constantly reminding you that um you know of, of what's involved and the costs involved but um, initially, there was about maybe a dozen people responded to that request and very kindly sent me um, uh, donations through PayPal, um, which helped to purchase some of this new equipment. Um, but then I was contacted um, the other week um, by a guy that came up with something rather ingenious and uh, I won't go into too much of the detail because I'm sure he wouldn't uh, want me to do that but um, he uh, offered to be my driver and literally take me to all of these locations um, free of charge and that is a huge help a huge help as you can imagine i mean you know a trip from 
where I live um, to here in Jarrow uh, would cost 15 pounds not a lot you might think but 15 pounds out of an old age pension is a lot and then two trips to Hadrian's Wall well you're looking at 30 quid there um, so on and so forth so it very quickly mounts up and that's not including the cost of running the vehicle tires MOT insurance etc etc um, so this offer of help was really really kind and good and uh, of course I took him up on it straight away and he provided the transport for three trips to Durham and um, he will almost certainly be helping with the uh, trips to Scotland um, uh, it's an electric uh, vehicle and he um, he's able to provide that without any um, you know hardship to him so as I say I'm very grateful um, to him for that I haven't mentioned him by name at the moment um, because I haven't asked permission that he would want to be um, uh, thanked by in, in name um, so without asking him first I'm saying and if you're watching this mate thank you very much it's very very much appreciated so that's all good news for a change isn't it um, of course uh, as I say this isn't a walkabout although it would be a very good location to do a walkabout actually um, this monastery of course will be covered whenever I get round to doing the Tyne um, River um, because it's on the south bank of the River Tyne um, and I've, I have mentioned it in the South Shields episode and I think it's mentioned again in the up and coming episode on Friday so um, I think that's all the news um, as I say um, watch out for the next episode of the Durham series on Friday and probably the weekend after you'll get the Hadrian's Wall um, uh, episode 3 and I'm pleased I got that done because that section is the hardest to film as the hardest to get to um, it's really remote there are no roads up there even in today's um, uh, times uh, th there's no read um, just to the north of where the wall is you've got Kielder Forest and the Northumberland Moors and there's just no reason to have a road so um, and the military road that uh, runs alongside the wall um, there is literally there's nowhere to stop there's not even a space at the side of the road and you've got, got a steep drop off the side of the road as well so it's not even those or you can pull across onto the verge um, so a very very difficult section to do and um, uh, it, easy if you're walking it um, because of course you're walking right next to the wall um, but um, as I say I'm not fit and able to do that I have to be within a few hundred meters of the vehicle um, so um, as I say I'm pleased I've got it done and um, it's in the bag and it was you know nice weather as well so um, all good news this time all good news so I will we'll see you all again very very soon either with a bulletin or a walkabout uh, or in the main productions um, so stay healthy you know best wishes and i'll see you all again soon bye for now